Hawaii, he moku, he kanaka, he kanaka Hawaii, he kanaka Hawaii, he kamana tahiki, he puali i mai ka paahu mai moa ula nui a kea kanaloa, he mo opuna na kahiko, laua o kapula na ke hau, na papa i haa nau, na ke kamawa hine a kuklani ehu laua me ka kaua koko, na pulu pula aina i pai kahi, ina no holi ke kahikina, komohana, pai like ka moku i lalani, i hui a kuhui mai me holani, Puni ka moku o kai alea ke kilo, na haa nuu hiba, lele i bola bola, o ka hiko ke kumu aina, nā nai mahele ka awale na moku, moku ka ahola vai a ka hai, i o kia e kuu kana loa, pau kuu na aina, na moku, moku i ka ohe kapu a kana loa, o hao mea manu ka hikele, o mo i keha kalani nā nai noho, noho ku ulani ia Hawaii, Ola, ola, o kala na ola, ola ke ali, ke kahuna, ola ke kilo, ke kaua, noho ia Hawaii ia lula na kani mo opuna i kauai, o kaua i ka moku, o mo i keha ke ali. I walk through my life knowing that it is my responsibility to learn about my history. I am Hawaiian, a kanaka Maori. But what does that mean? What does it mean to be Hawaiian? What responsibilities do I have? I take it seriously that the Hawaiian culture and history is fading away because nobody wants to take the responsibility to continue what has been passed down to them. The Hawaiian culture is rare because it carries many other attributes with it. For example, their food, music, gula, lifestyle, and most important, language. In the olden days, our ancestors knew about the history, their family, and where they came from. They're even able to recite their own genealogy. They knew all of this because to them, that is what made them who they were. They were Hawaiian, and that meant everything to them. That's what they called being Hawaiian. But today, most of those things have been lost, and not that many people know about their past and where they came from. We are all caught up in our iPods, cell phones, computers, and all these other technology. But today, we don't know what it means to be Hawaiian. So that's where the question comes from. What does it mean to be Hawaiian? Today, there are people, our kupuna, our aliti, that are striving to teach what they know to the next generation of Hawaiians. So those people can pass it to the next generation, and they can pass it to the next generation, and so on. What does it mean to be Hawaiian? For me, it is um, is being able to, it means several things. One thing it, uh, it means to me is being able to trace part of your ancestry back to those who were here um, prior to Western contact. I think that's one of the uh, uh, one of the definitions for me is what it means to be a Hawaiian. Uh, it also, uh, you know, in, uh, I also believe that in my mind, being Hawaiian also means being able to connect with um, the injustices, connect with the harm, connect with the, the, uh, the hurt that has come to our people. And when I say connect, feel it. Um, that's part of being Hawaiian. Um, you know, there's been a saying that um, by some, unless you, unless you have experienced the harm, ex unless you have experienced the hurt, then you really don't know what it is like to walk in those shoes. And so that's part of being Hawaiian, is, is, um, is really being able to connect to the hurt and the harm um, and feel the hurt. To me, being Hawaiian is, it's about being in touch with your feelings and being in touch with your um, heritage and where you've come from and not being afraid to use that to your advantage to where it is that you want to go. Kamehameha Schools is a great example of an institute that is trying at the best of their abilities to pass on the baton of strength to people who will perpetuate the culture of our ancestors. With Hawaiian history, Hawaiian culture, singing, hula dancing, and even six levels of Hawaiian language classes, Kamehameha Schools is finding and making many young adults into the future leaders of the state of Hawaii and the people of Hawaii. Being Hawaiian to me is just the way that you act and the kind of things that you do and it's that style of, of just doing everything, you know. It's not only about the blood quantity or the blood quantum 
per se, but it's just talking about, you know, if I'm Hawaiian, I won't go over there and I won't tell you, you know, take all of this stuff over here, don't leave anything back. I would tell you, you know, you take some, you take whatever you need and you just leave whatever you can because you need to replenish and keep for the next person. And being Hawaiian is just thinking about everything else, not only about yourself. To many, the word Hawaiian is just a word. It is a word that shows what kind of person that person is. But to many others, the word Hawaiian is a word that shows deep meaning. It could be love, friendship, strength, or it even could be a way of life, the Hawaiian way of life, which includes aloha. For me, it, it, um, it, 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 it's not a greeting. We use it as a word of greeting, but it's not a greeting. Um, aloha is a, um, it's an emotion, it's a value. One that the, 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 the one word that comes best in my mind to describe what, what aloha means to me is love, you know, um, godly love, um, a kind of love that one, you know, that Christ was trying to teach us uh, in terms of uh, person to person, you know, to, to love one another. Um, I guess that's, you know, for me, that, that is what um, aloha is about. It's about love, uh, but it also captures uh, the notion of, um, of respect, the notion of um, other values of, of um, honor and um, uh, all those positive attributes that, uh, that, that, that are rooted really in this whole concept of love. Aloha to me is, of course, the word, you know, Auntie Kavena Pukui will tell you that aloha means hello, goodbye, and aloha is also the, the lifestyle that you live. You know, like in Samoa, they say, Fa Samoa, it's their way of their Samoan living. But in Hawaii, we don't, we have that aloha, you know, we have, that's our style of living. We don't have a ho'o ho Hawaii or whatever. We have like a aloha kind of lifestyle and that's how we should live and that's just the kind of way that everybody looks at everything through the eyes of aloha. There are some activities, sports and other doings that keeps the Hawaiian spirit alive within oneself and keeps the Hawaiian culture flowing through their blood. I recently went to Waipio Valley on the island of Hawaii as a trip for my honors Hawaiian language 4 class. There we learned in more detail about how our ancestors lived their lives and how they got through a day. We repaired fallen dams in the rivers, cut down trees, leaves and other weeds, learned about planting kalo and even cleaned the waters of any debris. We were taught the history of that place and what they did there. We also went to sea and swim in the beautiful waterfall of Hi'ilawe. But before we did any of that, we learned what we were doing and why we were doing it. By being involved in these old Hawaiian traditional practices, I have learned how much the new generations of Hawaiians have lost their culture. They do not know how to plant kalo, build streams, but most importantly, they do not know how to speak Hawaiian or know the dance of Hawaii. By banning the hula and the native tongue of Hawaii, a great amount of history was lost due to the lack of continuing the culture. After the annexation of Hawaii in 1898, the Hawaiian language was banned throughout the schools of Hawaii and because of that, the language went into a rapid decline. By the 1980s, there were only about 2,000 Hawaiian speakers, most of whom were elderly. I sat through a, a, um, a, a workshop, and, um, and the question was um, posed, what do you do if you want to eat poi? Simple question. Well, you and I, we know what we do. We go down to the store, and we buy a bag of poi. And we bring the bag, and, and we open up, and we put it in a bowl. Our ancestors, this workshop was beautiful. Our ancestors, it went through all the things that they had to do, including making the bowl, including growing this different types of taro, including creating uh, uh, vessels to cook in, um, you know, all of the things before they got a mouthful of poi. And, and, you know, and, and so, you know, that's, uh, you know, I think being Hawaiian is being able to see that 
and appreciate it, really appreciate it, um, and really appreciate and respect and admire the genius that our our um, um, ancestors uh, demonstrated and exhibited in their daily life, in all facets of their lives. It's amazing, just amazing. The Hawaiian culture is unique. There is nothing else like it. Not only throughout the state of Hawaii, but throughout the whole world, the Hawaiian people, the Kanaka Māori, are dedicating their hearts and their time to keep the Hawaiian culture alive and to bring the Hawaiian people together so we can stick together. The closer we all are, the easier everything will be. The closer we all are, the harder it is to break us apart. Keep the Hawaiian culture alive. Keep perpetuating what was passed down to us. It is our responsibility, our kuleana, to do what our ancestors wanted us to do, to live Hawaii. Ku, ku no kaaina. Ku, ku no na poe. Ku, ku no Hawaii. Stand up for the land. Stand up for the people. Stand up for Hawaii. Aloha.